All right, I'm gonna wanna insert the thinner part onto the chair here. Just like that. Then go ahead and take your base and put it in there. Woo! All right, enough fooling around. Now we're gonna carefully pick up our chair and put it on the floor. Move these armrests out. Move this headrest up and it goes like this. Move it up and down. Wow, almost got my finger there. Okay, now we're gonna wanna sit on it, put our weight. And wow, you guys, feels really good. Let me adjust the back. Okay, so right here are your controls. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and take this out here. It's gonna allow you to access your controls here. And pretty much all your controls are gonna be on this side here. And right now I'm looking to lock the back. So I believe it's this one here. Oh, not that one. Okay. Nope, not this one. I think that's the seat. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be this last one right here. There's a little tab that goes around it. Just push it all the way down and it should be able to lock. All right, just gonna flip my hat around here. I mean, I'll play around with it later, but this is feeling pretty good. Got like these nice like 360 degree armrests here that pretty much go anywhere you want. So as I mentioned before, you can just buy the chair like on Amazon if you don't need the headrest right here. You'll probably save a lot of money because this headrest here does add quite a bit to the cost of the chair and there's no way of putting it later. So if you do need the headrest, go ahead and get the chair with the headrest when you buy it. All right, and I think I'm just gonna squat down here because it's so hard to get myself in frame because I'm so tall compared to the chair. And I did wanna go over some of the customizations I made to this chair. So if you do order it from Steelcase directly, you can configure your chair exactly like you want it. If you don't care too much about the customizations, again, I recommend you just get it on Amazon if you find a nice color you want. It's a great chair regardless. Uh, but let me tell you guys about some of the customizations that I made specifically to my chair. So first of all, let's take a look at the back here. I did get the upholstered wrap back here, which I think looks really nice. Otherwise it would have just been like plastic, like here all the way up here. So it's really a design choice. Originally, I was thinking of just getting it just straight with the plastic. I do think that this was a much better choice. Now for the upholstery on the chair itself, it is the Billiard Multi by Design Text and the ink color. And I think it looks great. I wanted to go with a dark color because I was worried about the seat getting like stains from you know food or just random stuff I do have a small kid as well so that's something to worry about so I think with the darker color if it does if something does spill maybe it'll kind of clean it and you know it'll be fine whereas on a lighter color you might still see something there uh, but it feels really good I think just based on my research this is one of the better fabrics to choose from I think you have like three different fabric types to choose from you know some are more breathable than others some feel good I think this one is good in terms of the feel of it I really like it I like the color as well now as far as the frame I went with the platinum metallic frame with the seagull seat back and seat frame right here and with the Merle arms. As I mentioned before, I got the standard base that matches the seat frame. And if you are gonna buy this chair, definitely get the 360 degree arms because this is like one of the best selling points of this chair. You can get him up close to you like this or if you wanna just be able to get up quick like that and you're up and going and they're just highly adjustable, easy to move around. You don't have to even think about it. You just kind of press on this button here in the bottom and move it wherever you want. And since I did mention earlier that I have back problems, I do have an L5S1 slip disc. If you guys with back problems probably know what that means, but I ordered this chair with the adjustable lumbar support, again, because I want my back to be fully supported when I'm in this chair. I wanna be able to sit for a long time without feeling any discomfort in my back or any kind of back pain. And this is a medical advice. This chair is not gonna miraculously heal your back problems, but I think it will help with comfort and be able to sit in the chair for longer periods of time compared to just a standard office chair that you buy like at Staples. And I did wanna give credit where credit is due because like I said, I researched it a lot and I found that one of the best YouTube channels on office chairs is by Honestly. If you wanna check out his channel, it was really helpful on deciding which chair to get. He tries out so many different office chairs and actually has like blind tests where he has different people from tall to short try out the different chairs and see how they like it. And that's one of the places where I found that this is a good chair for tall people and I did confirm in other Reddit posts and so on. Um, but yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend his channel if you are looking for an office chair.